Today we'll be using Excel for fall tree analysis or FTA. In a previous video, we discussed how to perform failure mode and effects analysis or FMEA. The link to that video can be found in the description below. Now we want to use Excel to draw and analyze fault trees. We'll work on an Excel template for a project safety failure using AND gates, OR gates, basic events, intermediate events, and the top event. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Let's focus on a site accident scenario with three failure causes, including falling from heights, hazardous material contact, and the struck by incidents. We can follow only four simple steps in Excel to perform fault tree analysis for our risk management example based on ISO 31000, which is the international standard for risk management. Step one is to create logical gate templates. Let's start by analyzing the provided spreadsheet accounting for three intermediate events, first of which is falling from heights. AND gate provides the Boolean logic, which means falling from heights happens if there is an unsafe scaffold and no safety net is installed and workers have no fall protection harness. We have again used AND gate for hazardous material contact, which means it happens if there is asbestos exposure and a poor asbestos management plan and poor air quality monitoring. The same AND gate provides the Boolean logic for a struck by incidents, which means it happens if workers enter exclusion zones and site is congested and operators of heavy machinery make errors. OR gate links the three intermediate events to the top event, which means we have a site accident if a fall from height happens or there is hazardous material contact or a struck by incident. We are able to create logical gates now. From the insert menu, select shapes and under flowchart shapes, choose a similar figure to AND gate. Double click on the shape and type AND, then rotate it 90 degrees. Next, right click and from the menu, select format shape. Under text options, choose the third tab, which is text box. For text direction, select rotate all text 90 or 270 degrees. We can change the color as appropriate and create duplicates of the AND gate. As you can see, we can follow the same procedure to create OR gate. This concludes the first step in performing fault tree analysis or FTA using Excel. Step two is to create dynamic templates for top and intermediate events. Let's start with the top event and insert a rectangle from the shape menu. Instead of typing a hard-coded label, we can make a dynamic template by linking it to the tabular data, which is great for future updates of project risk assessment using the fault tree. Left click on the shape and in the formula bar, type the equal sign. Then select the top event cell, which is the site accident and press enter. Next, we can change the color as appropriate and start creating intermediate events. Again, left click on the shape and in the formula bar, type the equal sign. Then select the intermediate event cell, which is falling from heights and press enter. We can change the color as appropriate and create the other two intermediate events which are hazardous material contact and a struck by incidents. Now we can build the top section of our tree by linking the components. First, we link the top event to the OR gate by inserting a line from the shape menu. Then we link the three intermediate events using elbow connectors under the shape menu. You can select all elements and group them together for easy relocation and placement. Now we have concluded the second step in performing fault tree analysis or FTA using Excel. Step 3 is to create dynamic templates for basic events and complete the fault tree. Let's start with a basic event and insert a circle from the shape menu. Left click on the shape and in the formula bar type the equal sign. Then select the basic event cell which is unsafe scaffold and press enter. Next we can change the color as appropriate and repeat the procedure for other 8 basic events. Now we can build the bottom section of our tree by linking the components. First, we link intermediate events to AND gates by inserting lines from the shape menu. Then we link each AND gate with three basic events using elbow connectors under the shape menu. You can again select all elements and group them together for easy relocation and placement in project risk reports. This concludes the third step in performing fault tree analysis or FTA using Excel. Step four is to calculate probability of intermediate events and the top event. So far, we have completed the visual risk analysis and evaluation by building the fault tree. Now we can focus on quantitative risk assessment by calculating probability of intermediate events. Falling from heights is connected to three basic events using AND gates, so probabilities should be multiplied. Click on the relevant cell and press the equal sign. 
Then use the product function to multiply probabilities of unsafe scaffold, no safety net, and no fall protection harness. The same procedure is followed for finding probabilities of other intermediate events, which are hazardous material contact and struck by incidents. Finally, we can calculate the likelihood of the top event. Occurring site accidents is connected to three intermediate events using the OR gate, so probabilities should be added together. Click on the relevant cell and press the equal sign. Then use the SUM function to add probabilities of falling from heights, hazardous material contact, and struck by incidents. The probability of 0.0002 indicates that in every 10,000 sites, there will be two accidents. This concludes the fourth step in performing fault tree analysis or FTA using Excel. The beauty of this risk analysis technique is that we can easily decide on countermeasures or project risk treatment plans. Zero harm is a principle in safety management that aims to achieve the elimination of all incidents, injuries, and harm in the workplace. Looking at the basic events of our tree, we can add other safety controls to reduce the likelihood of intermediate events, which is the product of basic event probabilities. This will result in a reduction of top event likelihood, which is the sum of intermediate event probabilities. Fault trees facilitate root cause analysis by tracking back from the top event to its underlying causes. By identifying the root causes of failures, project managers can implement targeted corrective actions to prevent site accidents from occurring in the future. And there you have it, an easy solution to cause consequence modeling using only four simple steps in Microsoft Excel. Again, you can access the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one.